Yo, what up everybody? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. So in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about these wild fish that I am that I'm currently keeping in this temporary 20 gallon tank. I caught these fish from a stream or from a lake or from a creek, wherever. I, I, I've caught the majority of these from different places and different types of body of water. But one thing remains the same is that these are wild caught fish. I took these fish from their home and a lot of people disagree with keeping wild fish and that's okay everybody can disagree with something everybody can have an opinion that's okay in America that's fine but the major question is do they even care like do they does it bother them that they are no longer in their natural habitat does it bother them that they are in the aquarium I want you guys to take a look at them and I want you guys to answer that question for me just by looking at these guys. Do these guys seem stressed out to you? Do they seem like they want to go back into the pond that they came from where they had to fend for themselves, where they had to watch their back constantly? No. I mean, look at this guy right here. Every time he sees me, he gets happy and excited. All three of them do. All I got to do is put my hand up like this and they immediately want to come up and greet the hand I mean of course they're not gonna let me stick my hand in there but slowly but surely eventually I'll get to that stage but right now as soon as they see me they know I'm either gonna feed them or I'm gonna change out their water I actually gave these guys a water change yesterday and it went really well. They weren't scared. They weren't jumping around. They were really happy. And they're really happy right now. I mean, who wouldn't be happy if you're being fed on a daily basis, your water is being cleaned, and you have no predators to watch out for? I mean, they're living the life right now. I will be moving them into the 125 gallon tank shortly. I just really like having a fish tank in my room this is my this is my bedroom I sleep here a lot of people will disagree with that you know a lot of people wouldn't want you know a fish tank in their bedroom with a filter where it makes noise but luckily for me I have this air pump right here and it's one of the quietest air pumps ever so it hardly makes any noise it's actually maxed out right now to where it can produce as much bubbles but for whatever reason I need to adjust the airline tubing so more bubbles can be produced but even when it's producing a lot of bubbles it's still pretty quiet like I can sleep like a baby in here I also have the aqua clear filter here they are really quiet I mean these fish they don't care I mean they, they probably forgot that they even lived in a pond or a lake they probably forgot that there was bass chasing them around and these guys, they got used to the stuff that I was feeding them really fast. I've been feeding them bug bites, I've been feeding them flakes. They pretty much just eat anything that I throw in there. I know a lot of people disagree with keeping wild fish and that was the main reason why I made this video. And so I really wanted to open up like a, a discussion, you know. I wanted to know what you guys think. Do you guys think I did these guys a favor? Or do you guys think that I deprive them of their freedom and and whatnot like do you guys think I made a bad choice bringing these guys in I don't think so matter of fact I want to keep these fish now, obviously I mean these guys aren't like the best looking fish in the world but their personality makes up for that these guys are really curious fish and they're really smart too at night um, these sunfish what they'll do is uh, since the AquaClear filter produces like a flow on the surface at night I'll just hear like that like just a tap on the glass and I always think that it's because they're fighting and chasing each other but it's not it's because these little guys they will go up here and they will attack the flow or they'll just get really excited and like jump towards the filter intake and kind of hurt themselves a little bit that's why if you take a look at this one you can see kind of some bruises on there but he's okay but I just think it's really funny that they do that 
Um, and it's really loud too. You know, I'll just be sound asleep and all of a sudden I hear that tap on the glass and it kind of freaks me out and then I'm like, oh yeah, these guys, they like to uh, mess around with that filter intake a little bit. And then uh, look at this little guy right here. He still hasn't gotten used to me. Um, he actually just started coming out from underneath this sponge filter and he just started coming out and greeting me um, towards the glass of the aquarium in the front and uh, I think what happened was is that he was really scared um, to be around these guys but they leave him alone for the, mo for the most part they don't chase him around at all these three will chase around each other um, but they won't chase around that little one. It's like they know. It's like, hey man, we got to pick on ones that are our size. We don't pick on the little ones. Tell me what you guys think of these fish. Tell me what you guys just think of wild fish in general. Do you guys think it's okay to take wild fish from a pond? Or do you guys think it's wrong? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Master Aquatics and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and... Peace out, guys. We won't stop hustling till we make it. Make it. Make it.